Hey there, and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how I made Beetle from Breath of the Wild. Let's get started. Now, for all my projects, I like to come up with a general plan before starting it. And my plan here is to just make things up as I go and hope it works. Let's start by grabbing a bunch of screenshots from the game. I found Beetle close to a stable and tried to get as many different angles as I could. I printed the image to the scale I wanted to make my sculpture. I'll use them as a reference to make sure I make everything in proportion. Let's make the bag first. I'm using aluminum foil to make a general shape of the bag, before covering it with Super Sculpey. I added more clay to make a horn. Let's check the reference image before baking it. At this point, if it looks like a potato with a horn, you're on the right track. Using a pencil, I drew the different sections onto the bag. I am then filling the shapes with clay. I'm adding more foil on the back of the bag to build the shape of the wings. I am then doing the exact same thing on the top. And then I'll just fill the rest of the shapes with clay. With that done, I added a piece of wire on the top part, so I'll be able to stick the second horn later on. Now I'm adding a thin strip of clay all around the edge. To make the smaller horn, I made a cone out of clay made a slit in the middle and used my fingers to refine the shape. I then stuck the horn onto the wire. Let's finish the bigger horn by adding clay on both sides. Let's add some tiny horns. Using pliers, I made four D-ring shape out of metal wire. These ring will be used to attach the accessories to the bag later on. I made them out of metal so it will be sturdier than clay. I left the top loop empty because that's where we'll attach the parasol later on. Now that the bag is finished, let's move on to Beetle. I'll use armature wire to make his leg and lower body. I'll add some clay to make a rough shape of the legs and torso. And then smooth it all out with the back of my tool. I'm using thin strips of clay to make the shorts. Then I drilled the hole and will add wire to make the armature for the arms. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna make his little crop top before adding clay on the arm so it will be easier to work on. Let's make Beetle's bandana by cutting out a triangle and wrapping it around his neck. I'm then adding some clay on the wires to make the arms. And I'll make some hands from tiny little piece of clay. Beetle also needs some feet, so let's add those. Now, on to one of my favorite parts, sculpting the head. It was made separately from the body, so it'll be easier to sculpt and paint. After making the shape of the head, I'm using my tool to mark out where the eyes will go, as well as his nose and his mouth. I then stuck a tiny little triangle onto his face for his nose and poked some holes for his nostrils. I'm adding some tiny little piece of clay to shape out his lips. I'm blending them with the rest of the shape and then I'll use my silicone tool to carve out his mouth. At this point, if your beetle looks like a smiley potato, you're on the right track. I'll add little tiny eyeballs to his eye sockets and also little tiny eyebrows. All he needs now is a mushroom cut. Ah, much better. I did a bit of sanding and now it's time to paint. The majority of the bag is a light brown. Gray for this part. And dark brown here. Beale's face gets multiple coat of beige. His hair gets painted dark brown and his nose gets painted in pink. I painted his eyeballs white, his eyebrows in brown. I'm using my silicone tool to make some dots for the eyes. Can I just say how happy I am with how the face came out? I am filled with joy just looking at it. Anyways, let's paint the rest of the body. I'm using a colored pencil to draw on the beetle symbol he has on his crop top. Now that we're finished painting, let's make a base. I will start by saying that using cardboard was a very bad idea. It sort of still worked, but the end product is kind of warped. So I do not recommend cardboard and paper mache for the base. And in case you're wondering why I place a ball of foil onto the base, it's because my bag was like 10% too small 
and I wanted the bag to sit a few centimeters higher than Beetle so it looked like I knew what I was doing and didn't make any mistake. The paper mache didn't really give the texture that I wanted for the base, so I mixed some dirt, glue and modeling paste to make this really delicious looking blueberry colored paste. I used the popsicle stick to add more texture to the paste by tapping it all around the base. Now that it's dry, let's paint it. I'm starting with a darker khaki green. Once everything is covered, I'll softly go over it with a brighter shade of green. Here I'm doing the same thing but with a lighter shade. And now that the base is finished, we're done. Oh, wait, there's actually a lot more. Beetle's bag is actually covered in accessories. They were all made off camera, but I'm gonna explain how I made them. But first, let's glue the bag onto the base. This is a piece of fabric that was painted with acrylic paints. This is a banner that was made with paper and string. I took a piece of felt, rolled it up and tied it off with strings. This will make a nice sleeping bag for Beetle. The flag was made from paper, a toothpick, some string and a stick I found outside. I used my printer to print out the design of the flag. These little bags were made of polymer clay and painted brown. I'll tie them to the metal rings on the side of the bag. Beetle has this adorable little water bottle that is shaped like a snail. This was also made with polymer clay. I also made this small basket out of clay. I'll tie it to the metal ring on the left side of the bag. These are just dried out flowers I found in my craft bin and I just painted them green. We also need beetle. There you go, buddy. Now all he needs is his little table made from cardboard and paper. I also added a string so it will hang around his neck. And let's not forget his little money tray that I made from polymer clay. I made a parasol out of paper and some wire. I also added a little light bulb that I made from polymer clay. And that's it! We're done! Let's move on to the beauty shots. Hey, here's a question for you. What would you like to see next? I'm a big fan of The Legend of Zelda, but I also like Pokemon and Animal Crossing. So leave a comment below with your suggestions. And maybe even consider subscribing or giving this video a like. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and maybe I'll see you next time.